can you tell us a little bit more about what a prompt engineer is? That's a new role that is specific to AI. So, yeah, prompt engineer, prompt whisperer, yeah. prompt whatever. They mm-hmm. they use a lot of uh, words for it. It's basically someone who who talks to the AI in a productive way, <laughs> right? So not for entertainment, but for work, and they can get a lot out of um, the AI, mm. right? Now, uh, there were these articles which were uh, prompt engineer um, earns $300,000 per year, you know. Um, probably someone did somewhere, mm-hmm. right? Uh, but it is true that in the future, these, this profession will exist. What does it mean? It means a person who can prompt the AI very well, mm. and that would be their job. However, how do I become a good prompt engineer? How do I become good at this, right? Well, you need to be a very good domain expert in your field. Mm. And I'll immediately give you an example um, of this. Someone dealing with SEO, search engine optimization, was talking about this, that every, every your average Joe is saying, create some content for me and blah, blah. A, a, a good domain expert, they would inquire about, let's say, um, programmatic SEO. They would inquire about, I don't know, domain authority or uh, backlinks, whatever. Uh, they they would be using the, this terminology. The more terminology you use in the conversation with the AI, the better you're prompting it. So you're a good prompt engineer because you know what questions to, you know what terms to uh, to use, what you what words to use, what um, you know where to place the AI in what context to place exactly. the AI it's, in. You're giving yeah. it better context. Yeah, if you put it in an expert conversation, the AI will be an expert, yeah. right? If you put it in a n- newbie conversation, it wouldn't be good. And another very very interesting example is uh, a friend of mine who is a professional photographer. And he was prompting this uh, the uh, mid journey, and uh, he was trying to create these shamans, so um, African shamans, you know, South American shamans, U- European shamans, whatever. And he was uh, prompting it to create their faces uh, with with certain facial features and um, this and that. Amazing results. You look at it, and it's the the, the, the most wonderful thing ever. You know, like wow, these look so real, so majestic, whatever. And what the guy did was 90% of the prompt was him describing the lighting, the uh, Mm. 16 millimeter camera focused in what I I can't even Mm. tell you what he was writing, but he was writing pretty, pretty deep, uh, you know, photography, technical stuff. stuff. Yeah. At the end of the day, the result was amazing. Mm. Right. But he knew what to prompt. And uh, in a way I would never be able to. Right, so he's a better prompt engineer than me for photography. Mm. I'm a better prompt engineer than him for AI. I don't know, and yeah. Okay, that makes sense. What would a prompt engineer's role uh, be? What would their goal be? Is it to help a team automate tasks or like create workflows around AI and adopt AI, or would it be to just? Um, would a prompt engi- would prompt engineering be a job requirement for the future? If you ask me, all of us should be prompt engineers. Mm-hmm. Like for my work, I'm prompt engineering all the time. Mm-hmm. You are as mm-hmm. well. So I think it would be a skill, not a job on its own. You yeah. know, maybe there will be people who would only be prompting the AI. But uh, more than this, I imagine you know new jobs being created which are not prompt engineer. It's like I don't know. Uh, photographer with AI, you yeah. know, architect with AI, yeah, um, yeah mark- marketing person with AI. And very, very soon, if you can't use AI, you wouldn't be on the team at all for many professions. You know? yeah. If it's marketing, I can guarantee that five years from now, there wouldn't be a single marketing person not using AI. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Um,